Hey everybody, just checking in really quickly in advance of our in-person meeting at Vol State. Um, we are meeting in person on Friday, June 1st from 6 to 9 p.m. Central. And um, most of the day on Saturday, June 2nd from 8.30 until about 4 um, Central again at Vol State. So we will meet in the same room that we have been in in the past. Um, and it'll be great. I'm super excited. So instead of having an assignment out of the book and some problems to do for this week three, which is going by so quickly for week three, I would ask that you all review some of the materials on the research page on the THAC website. In particular, I would ask that you review some of the bigger reports that we do each year, like the fact book, the classic here, and um, the fact book, the Tennessee Promise Report, which I don't have a hard copy to show you, um, as professionals who work at community colleges in Tennessee, I know a couple of you don't work in Tennessee, but for the most part, those of you in Tennessee, Tennessee Promise is just a part of the, the reality of your day-to-day -day now. So I would ask that you review that report, because I do want to talk about it, and the lottery scholarship report, the TELS report that we produce each year. So I would ask that you skim whatever is on that, the website that piques your interest, but pay some special attention to those three as well as some of the one-pager infographics that are up there. That's its own tab, I think, on the research page. What I want to talk about with regard to the infographics is how effective they are. We have a wonderful communications person here, Kate, who's now working at the governor's office. So I think you met earlier in the spring, Kate Derrick. She has done an excellent job really distilling a lot of the work that my group does into those one-page um, kind of user-friendly infographics. So something I want to talk about when we're all together at Ball State is just that. How do you make data accessible and make it usable and digestible to, I say normal people, but you'll know what I mean, people who are not data fluent or are not comfortable with data. So that's a lot of what I want to talk about. I would ask as you go through the fact book and the promise report, as well as the tells report, I guess, but mostly the fact book in particular, um, think about how you use that data, how that data could be improved. My group is the group that does that report each year, but I will not take personally at all any feedback or any suggestions you have for how to make that more usable in terms of um, what would be most useful for your day-to-day. -day. What kind of data can THEC be providing back to the campuses, particularly in your own, um, your shop or your line of work on a campus that would be most easy. Those of you from, most uh, useful. Those of you from Ohio and North Carolina, um, I'm happy to reach out to my compatriots in those states and give them whatever feedback you have for me, <laughs> but um, unfortunately I, I, I can't really provide any data about either of those states. The other thing I want to mention about our in-person weekend is that we will have a lot of guests, which is super exciting. The research team from here at THAC will join us on Friday, that's my team, um, so there will be five of us there talking about pretty much what I just said, how we do these reports each year, how we work with campuses, how we make sure that we're doing things that are useful. Um, and even though these reports are statutorily mandated, the legislature mandates that we do them, we wanna make sure that they're useful and we're not just checking a box. So really talking about all of that. And then on Saturday, we will have folks with us from TBR, the Board of Regents, um, as well as Vanderbilt University, talking about different collaborations across different agencies. So TBR and THAC, how we work together. And then from a more kind of capital R research perspective, how do we work with academics? How do we work with professors, um, particularly those who are just down the street at Vanderbilt? How do we all work together to produce research that is actionable and is useful for the audience that I interact with each day, as well as the audience that someone um, at a university would interact with each day? So that will be probably Saturday morning. And then we'll spend some time Saturday afternoon like I said, talking about making data actionable, making like info, we're not going to make infographics, but making data available to people in ways that um, are not necessarily like 100 page reports, like the fact book. Or when you talk to media, how do you distill your data and how do you explain data in ways that somebody who is writing an article for a general audience, we work very closely here with some reporters from the Tennessean, for example. Um, so we'll spend some time doing that. We'll also review everything that we have gone through in the first couple weeks of the course in case people have questions or if different demonstrations would be useful or anything like that. So please be thinking about that. I'm pretty flexible in terms of any, um, again, we're only a couple weeks in, but any review that would be useful or any additional resources that would be useful, just feel free to email me with those questions and I'll try to get them on the agenda. So closer to the time. Um, probably about a week out, so sometime next week, 
I'll send out a more formalized agenda for that time together just to make sure we kind of have somewhat of a plan. We can be flexible, but we'll have somewhat of a plan. So I hope everybody's having a great day and um, please always be in touch with any questions and I look forward to seeing you in person June 1st and 2nd at Ball State. It's gonna be awesome. Get ready.